The Pantanal is the world's largest wetland at 66,100 square kilometers. It's located in western central Brazil. According to research, until about 13,000 years ago, the Pantanal was a sandy desert. Currently, the rivers support a vast expanse of rich wetlands that support life of all kinds. The Pantanal provides home for about 5,000 species of plants and animals. Every year, heavy rains come to the Pantanal and the water creates huge swamps, like this picture. During the rain season, Pantanal becomes over 80% of swamps. It's easy to see around because they are not high mountains. The Kuaiba River and Paraguay River flow from North Pantanal to South Pantanal. Also, there is a waterfall about 80 meters high called Bridal Veil and in North Pantanal, Table Mountain and Cliffs. In the Pantanal, summers are warm and humid. Winters are cool and windy. Temperatures vary from 13 to 29 throughout the year, but rarely below 8 or above 32. Annual rainfall ranges from 1,000 to 40,000 mm, but Pantanal's water resources are supplied by the Paraguay River. The jaguar is the largest member of the cat family inhabiting South America. They have a body length from about 120 to over 200 centimeters and tail length of about 45 to 75 centimeters. And the population is about 5,000 in Pantanal. Populations are declining due to deforestation and smuggling. Jaguars live independently except in mating season. Jaguars are carnivorous, so they usually eat meat. And also, jaguars are good at swimming, so they can even hunt creatures that live in rivers. The coat is mostly tan and looks like a leopard. But jaguars have circles of black with spots in the middle of the circle. On the other hand, leopards have no spots in the middle. And jaguars have a different face shape from leopards. These are called giant Victoria water lilies. They can be seen only around the Paraguay River, and they are common. The leaves are thicker than the Amazon water lily. It's said that a person of 40 kilograms can stand on a leaf, and the large leaves are over 3 meters across. Water lilies are an aquatic plant and can be found all year round. The little white flowers are called the Lady of the Night and can only be seen for two days. The Capuchin monkey inhabits the forest areas of northern and central South America. The body is about 40 to 55 centimeters long, and the tail length is about 40 to 50 centimeters. They live mainly from the middle to top of trees and sleep in trees at night. Their long tail can grab things and support their weight. It is very smart and has been reported to use many tools in the wild, such as using stones to crack nuts. They also eat insects and bird eggs. This is a man of the Boro tribe. They speak Portuguese and Boro language. Boro means village court in their language. The estimated population is less than 2,000. They live in Mato Grosso State in Brazil. Men hunt and women grow corn and rice. The Bororo's homes are traditionally arranged in a circle and the village divided into two. In Bororo society, women have a strong power. For example, when people get married, men have to take the woman's last name, live in the woman's house, and do most of the work. Their diet consists mainly of corn and other cereals. 
They have some celebrations, like celebration of cereal gathering, and funerals can go on for up to months. In the 1970s, the high level of dissatisfaction of the Bororo brought about movement demanding the recovery of their traditional territories and the improvement of health and education services. At present, the movement is trying to find solutions for land disputes in the Pantanal region. One threat to the Pantanal are man made forest fires. And it is highly possible that fires were caused by farms. But it's not all intentional. For example, fires can start by careless burning of waste or even cigarettes. According to the Institute of Geography and Statistics, more than 4 million hectares have already been burned this year. In addition, animals that live on the ground are burned to death or lose their habitat. Furthermore, it is predicted that the water quality of rivers will deteriorate, oxygen content in the water will be reduced, and that number of fish and other life will decrease visibly from next year. Sometimes, fires are started on purpose by farmers to clear land for cattle. About 22% of the entire area of the Pantana has been burned. Animals are the most affected. For example, Blue Throat Macau, a native Pantanal species, it has been added to the rare list of endangered species because about 90% of the area of the animal sanctuary has been lost fire. The fire is still going on and it is still impossible to estimate the amount of wildlife lost. Government power is needed to rebuild the habitats for endangered species and common animals. The Brazilian government is ignoring this issue is a big problem. Firefighters are fighting fires in Pantanal, where 3,461,000 hectares were burned down between January and September 27. However, Due to limited personnel and budget, firefighting activists have not caught up, and the recent abnormal heat wave is expected to spread the fire further. The environmental group Greenpeace has accused the President Bolsonaro of Brazil of not taking appropriate fire protection measure, even though a drought was predicted. Thank you for listening. The Mayan forest is the largest remaining tropical rainforest in Central America with an area of 13.3 million acres. It stretches across Belize, northern Guatemala, and through Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The forest provides shelter for numerous rare and endangered species such as the scarlet macaw, jaguar, and tapir. It also harbors up to 400 species of birds. The forest is also home to Mayan communities. There are certain regions in the area. An area referred to as the lowlands of the forest includes a hot coastal plain along the Pacific Ocean. The northern lowlands climate is hot, and due to that, infrequent rainfalls are common, and only few permanent rivers or lakes exist. The southern lowlands are starkly different from the northern lowlands. This area gets as much as 160 inches of rainfall annually, and the highlands to the south are a wide section of valleys and volcanic mountains that are part of the Sierra Madre range and a narrow coastal plain along the Pacific Ocean forms its southern boundary. Although the area is subject to tsunamis, volcanoes, and earthquakes, the soil here is fertile and the climate is pleasantly cooler than the lowlands to the north. The climate of the forest depends on where it is located. The northern Maya lowlands has two distinct climates. The northwestern part is semi-arid while the northeastern part 
receives a greater amount of rainfall. The Southern Maya lowlands receive much more rainfall and contain tropical and subtropical zones. Lastly, the Southern Maya highlands are generally cool, temperate in climate, and covered in thick vegetation. The howler monkey is native to South and Central American forests. They are called howler monkey because they are louder than any other types of monkeys. Their howls can be heard up to 5 kilometers away, and they are believed to be the loudest of all land animals. They have long, thick hair with beards. Males are black while females are blonde. Their noses are very keen and they can smell out food, primarily fruit and nuts, up to 2 kilometers away. They have a very long tail that grows to the same size as their body. Overall, there are about 100,000 howlers remaining in the wild. The destruction of their forest habitats poses a serious threat to their survival because they spend almost all of their time in the trees. Fruits, nuts, leaves, and plants are the main sources of food for the howler monkey. Their predators are jaguars, harpy eagles, and large snakes. This picture is the male flower of the pacaya palm. It is a tree found in the understory of the forest of southern Mexico and Central America. It is sold in the market as a luxury vegetable, a delicacy in the areas of Guatemala and El Salvador. It resembles an ear of a corn and has somewhat bitter taste. Aside from that, Pacaya's leaves are used for flower arrangements and it grows as an ornamental plant. This is one example of a delicacy using pacaya palm, which is called pacaya de rellenos, or pacaya's fillings. Making this dish is very simple, but the hardest part is finding a healthy and fresh pacayas. The morpho butterfly belongs to the Morphidae family. This beautiful butterfly has blue on top of its wings and the designs of the wings under side resembles wood like camouflage with shades of brown, pale yellow or red with beige. Circular design similar to an owl's eye. They fly with a peaceful low flow and enjoy shady places and low foliage, ripe bananas and other fruit. Its caterpillars are bright red-brown, sometimes with large patches of lime green plus toxic stinging hairs. Morpho caterpillars feed on leaves but they are cannibalistic as well. Morpho are typically found at daylight and drink juice out of dew, rotten sweet fruits, especially bananas. One of the indigenous groups of the Mayan forest is the Kekchi. Keekchi are a Maya group located in the central highlands and northern lowlands of Guatemala. There are about 1.3 million of them living today. Their land was formerly known as the Zulutlan or the land of war, and the Keekchi people were ruled by a king and had their own laws and government. Traditionally, the Keekchi people believe in gods of the mountains and valleys. However, they have mixed those beliefs with the beliefs of the Catholic Church and they also believe in the Christian God and celebrate the saints. Kiechi practice farming. They only farm what is needed by their families. They farm edible weeds, bananas, and other crops. They use agriculture as a spiritual means to communicate to their gods. Planting. Cultivating and harvesting are part of their rituals and worship in their religion. They have three specific religious specialists. The Ilunel, ones that treat the illness, who use different types of herbs and ceremonies. The Ajke, who advise and predict things in the village. The last is the Ajdul, which are believed to be the sorcerers who can cast spells. The industry and conservation projects are threatening the relationship of the Kiechi people with their lands and resources. For several decades, the Maya Kiechi communities have worked hard to achieve recognition of their collective land ownership through Guatemala's land system. 
This ineffective system, with the addition of lack of legislation, prevents the Kiakchi people's full collective ownership of lands under the possession and authority to manage their natural resources. Land-related conflicts are also happening such as murders of Kiakchi leaders, violence against them, political unrest, and clashes over resource development. The biggest threat in this ecoregion is deforestation. The graphic shows the tree cover loss, 80,000 hectares per year in the Yucatan Peninsula. The reason of this are cattle ranching, pasture expansion, commercial and small-scale agriculture, and forest fires. Also, the northern dry forests of the Yucatan is the most damaged area and the community of plants in the location is considered to be endangered. Besides deforestation, Yucatan cacti is becoming rare because of the illegal extraction of the plant from its habitat for trade to international markets. The indigenous communities in El Estor have faced several attempts to forcibly evict them from their traditional lands to make way for nickel exploration and exploitation activities. These actions were illegal as they were not enforced by the proper authority or they lack an eviction order issued by a court. In most cases, the mining company's security personnel has worked together with Guatemala's police and military forces. Even the governor of El Estor has, with the support of the mining company, attempted to evict the communities without securing any court order. The indigenous communities have not only faced eviction attempts but have seen their houses go up in flames and have suffered the loss of community members. The mining has also caused problems such as water shortages and problems growing crops. Groups like the Indian Law Resource Center are currently preparing to bring a major case to the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights or known as IACHR to protect the right of the Maya Kekchi and shut down the nickel mine. They have already worked with their local partner Defensoria Kekchi and have completed a number of studies and legal analysis to prepare the case and have taken steps to exhaust domestic legal remedies and to also combat deforestation. The Valdivian rainforest located in the south of South America in the countries of Chile and Argentina. It's the third biggest forest in the world. It's a temperate rainforest and 60% of plants in this forest are found only here. This area is very wet and the source of this rain is the westerly winds of the Pacific. This forest has a special extreme climate that is home to many special animals and birds. The Bolivian temperate rainforest covers over 95,000 square kilometers. This is the second largest of five temperate rainforests in the world. Around 70% of the forest is located in Chile. When Europeans first came here, it covered over 165,000 square kilometers. But due to logging and development, only 40% remains. Temperate rainforests have mild climates or temperatures. These areas don't have extremely hot or extremely cold temperatures. In the summer, the temperature climbs to about 16 degrees, while in winter the temperature drops below 7 degrees Celsius. The driest month is January, but even in the driest month, it rains a lot. Many of trees of this forest grow nowhere else. For example, in the Valdivian rainforest, there is one particular tree. The name is Tepu. It is evergreen and member of the Maro family. The Tepu tree grows in the wettest of places, hollows left by ancient glaciers. It is a thin and tall tree, but grows densely. This is a pudu. 
Poodle is the world's smallest deer. Poodles have a stocky frame with four short and slender legs. It is 32 to 44 cm tall and up to 85 cm long. Poodle usually eat fruit, flowers, and leaves. And also, Poodle is near threatened due to the destruction of their rainforest. The name of this animal is Monito del Monte in Spanish. The body length is only about 10 cm and the body weight is only about 25 grams. They eat fruit and insects. Babies are born before they are fully developed, so they continue to grow in a pouch on their mother's stomach, like a kangaroo. This animal is an endangered species because many trees have been cut down by humans. And there is local superstition about this animal, which is that if this animal appears in the house, the house will burn down in the future. The Hurich is the southern tribe of Machpe ethnic group of Chiri. The Hurich are the principal indigenous population of Chiri. Most Hurich speak Spanish, but some, especially older adults, speak the Hurich language. The total population is 224,000. Before Christianity influenced them, they connected with the spirits of their ancestors through rituals. Originally, their main foods were potatoes, corns, and beans. But after they started to hunt and eat shellfish and seaweeds, they used sheepskin, leather, and cowhide for their clothing. In the late 19th century, Argentina and Chile began invading their land to take natural resources. The Mapuche people were divided in half in Argentina and Chile and they were controlled by each country. Government discrimination against Mapuche people was about politics, economic, and social rights. And their resources and land were taken. So many of Mapuche people were kicked out from their land. Also, they were banned from teaching and using Mapuche language at school. Unfortunately, even now, Argentine and Chilean governments are trying to take the left of Mapuche land because they really want to get natural resources of their land. So, Mapuche people are doing protests to stop it. Due to the logging and expanding timber plantations, six out of ten species of flora and fauna in the rainforest are threatened or endangered. In 1976, the Araucaria trees are declared natural monuments, and their felling have been strictly prohibited. So, close to 50% of Bardivia's native Araucaria trees have been lost through illegal logging and fires. WWF is an organization that is trying to protect the nature of the Bardivian rainforest. WWF and some other organization bought the land of rainforest. They paid $750 million to buy the land of rainforest. That makes other forestry companies can't cut the trees, because logging is one of the big problems in this rainforest. It says that over the least 100 years, these rich evergreen forests have been reduced by 50%. But they are trying to make the next 100 years a lot better. Today, we are going to tell you about the pampas. The Pampas is a grassland area that stretches across the La Plata River, based in central Argentina. It is a semicircle with a radius of 600 km around Buenos Aires. The grasslands are often flat, so when it rains heavily, 
the water does not drain well and does not recede easily. The area is 60 times the size of the Kanto Plain. It is one of the world's leading cattle growing areas with fertile soil. A third of Argentina population lives here. Pampa is a low flat land below 150 meters above sea level, located along the La Plata River basin. The mouth of this river is triangular and it has an area of about 270 square kilometers. The basin area is about 3.1 million square kilometers and includes all of Paraguay, southeastern Bolivia, and most of Uruguay and a portion of Brazil and Argentina. The shore on the Argentina side is low and the shore on the Uruguay side is high. Pampas is located around Riva Plata in Argentina. The climate is Argentina where Pampas is located is mild climate. Summers are warm and last from late December through late March. The winter is mild and lasts from late June to September. Argentina lies south of the equator so its seasons are the opposite from the northern hemisphere. The rea is the largest bird in South America. Despite its large wings, it is flightless. A nest can hold up to 50 eggs. Rare eggs are taken as food and many people eat them. Rare is a variety of food including lizard, plants, fruits, and seeds. This is pampas grass. The height grows to 2 to 3 meters and long and narrow legs grow from the root. It is characterized by having 50 to 70 cm spikes like feather on the stem from summer to autumn. There are male and female plants. The spikes of male are brown and females are silvery white. This is called Pampa Steel. There are roughly 80 southern pampas deers and most of them are living in Brazil. They have dark orange fur on their backs. Their tails are short and bushy. They live at low elevation and they are known to live about 12 years. But they are endangered because of overhunting and habitat loss as the pampas is changed to cattle ranches and agricultural farms. The Mapuche tribe is a Native American tribe living in South Central Chile and Southern Argentina. The population is 12% of the total Chilean population at 604,349 people. In recent years, an increasing number of people living in urban areas and working in educational institutions. Many of the women work as housekeepers. There are very few people who usually wear ethnic costume in life. Mapuche beliefs are categorized as nature worship centered on ritual performed by shamans called match. The match has a wide range of medical herbs and scientific knowledge and conduct illness treatment, removing evil spirits, and rituals for lay making and good harvest. In the Mapuche, music is played as part of a ritual, using unique musical instruments such as a single side drum called kurtan. They go around the altar while playing in the line. The repression of the Mapuche tribe by Argentina government started from the late 19th century. The reason the government wants Mapuche land today is the big natural resource called shelf gas. The land and rights of the Mapuche people are being violated by the government and foreign companies. In 2017, the Mapuche people started to cooperate to protect their own rights. They decided to demonstrate and fight for their rights.
One serious threat to the pampas is overgrazing. Overgrazing is when animals in the area eat too much grass and in a lizard there becomes no more grass. This is a problem because pampas grass is one of the most common ways to get food and if all the grass is gone, the animal will lose most of their food. The pampas deer is a deer that lives in the pampas. They eat grass and their excrement gives nutrition to the soil. However, if the grass that feeds the deer is grown, the deer will decrease, then no nutrition in the soil and the quality of the soil goes down. Then it becomes more difficult to grow up grass. Besides, carnivores like cougars that eat the deer are also in danger of extinction. Vida Silvestre Argentina, Argentine World Wildlife Foundation, is a civil association founded on June 29, 1977, working on solving the main environmental issues of Argentina. It develops action based on the protection of natural areas, on consumption and on responsible production, environmental legislation, awareness and education. At present, its work focuses on five priority ecoregions in Argentina for their rich biodiversity, which is endangered the Perna Ens Rainforest, the Great Chaco, the Pampas, Seas and Their Shoals, and Antarctica and Southern Oceans. American Barrier Reef Basic Information the Mass American Barrier Reef is located in the Central America. It is also known as the Great Maya Reef. A barrier reef is a reef that extends parallel to the coastline. It is about 1,000 kilometers long from the top of the Uganda Passover to the Gulf Island province of the Honduras. It is the second largest in the world after the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. In other words, it is the largest in the Western Hemisphere. There are various protected areas and parks, and there are over 66 types of stone corals and over 500 types of fish. Coral reefs are only a small part of the ecosystem, including mangrove forest, lagoon, and coastal wetland. Each of those elements is important for overall preservation. Mangrove forests prevent pollution from land from reaching the sea. They also function as a nursery for coral reef fish and feeding ground for a variety of marine species. This sea area has a subtropical rainforest climate. The average annual temperature is about 26 degrees and it often rains. The sun shines on between 240 and 253 days per year. High season for travel falls between December and April. During this month, the weather tends to be sunny with temperatures around 30 degrees during the day and over 18 degrees at night. Hurricane season runs from July through November with September and October being the most likely months. Plants and animals. Antipatherans are soft corals living in the deep water it's known as black corals and thorn corals and the corals get their name from the their black skeletons they are range in size from 10 to 300 kilometers black corals feed almost on plankton a black corals is really black and depending on the species, can be white, red, green, yellow, or brown. Its only important use is making jewelry. Black corals have been declining in numbers and are expected to continue 
decline due to the effects of the poaching, ocean acidification, and climate change. This is the gray sea turtle, also known as black turtle, Pacific green turtle. All the green turtles grow to 1.5 meters long. The average weight of mortal individuals is 68 to 190 kilogram. Their diet changes with age. In the early stretches of life, they are carnivory, but in at top at top they become vegetarian. They feed on fish, seaweed, crust oceans, and uh, squid. One of the largest green turtle nesting populations in the world are uh, found at Tortuga on the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica, 22,500 females nest per season. The greatest threat is from humans, including continued hunting poaching and uh, egg harvesting. Green angelfish is common in the Caribbean Ocean. Their base body color is blue or purple, and they are yellow from the head to start. So the name of it given because their head look like a crown. They eat attached organisms and algae. The body length is small about 10 cm for juvenile fish, 40 cm for adult fish, but they are so alert and move quickly. Indigenous inhabitants. The Mayas were engaged in farming, building huge stone buildings and uh, pyramidal tem temples using gold and uh, copper and uh, writing with glyphs. The main provide of building cities was from 250 years to 900 years. Mother Maya are mainly engaged in agriculture. They have very few industry and uh, handy graphs are usually only for the needs of family. After some cash crops or local specialties are sold, they are exchanged for cash to buy goods that are lacking locally. Now there are about 6 million Mayan peoples living in Mexico, states of Yucatan, Campeche, Quintana, Ru, Tobasco, and uh, Chiapas, and uh, Central. American countries of Barlis, Guatemala, Western Honduras, and uh, Ilo Cervedo. It is estimated that 6 million Maya were living in this area at the start of the 21st century. The most vulnerable of the Maya group today is the Nankendo of the Chipas Rian Forest. The Maya have managed to maintain many of the old way in the agriculture and the trade. Many of the men must also leave their villages for the lowlands, where they work part of the year on coffee and cotton plantations. They fell into poverty in the colonial era, and they were treated as a slave. Even today, there are some effects of that. For example, in Guatemala, they have limited basic services such as health care and education. Also, according to a UNDP survey, 
malnutrition caused the high rate of death in four out of 100 in infant. Government are intervening in the land where they live in and expect them for business such as hydropower, meaning, and agricultural development. Threats to the ecoregion. Today, the problem of coral reef destruction is becoming more serious all over the world. Especially, there are only 25% of coral reefs in good condition in the Caribbean Sea, including the Mesoamerican barrier reef. That main cause is global warming. The plant that coexists with the coral reef leaves the coral when the seawater temperature rises. And then coral reefs can't receive nutrients without them. So they have no choice but to die. Research shows that the rising water temperature in 2016 and 2017 led to large scale bleaching of crows, which had a great impact on the reduction of crows in the reef. At the beginning of 2020, the reef will be bleached on a large scale. Crow bleaching refer to the phenomenon when crows turn white, which in that case that crows become more vulnerable if the environment returns to normal. Girls can repair themselves, but it will take. The World Wide Fund for the Nature is an international non governmental organization founded in 1961. WWF is working with coastal communities along the reef to develop the climate change adaptation strategies. This includes the coral reef and the uh, mangrove forest uh, conservation and uh, restoration and uh, establish nature protected areas. Thousands of the corals have been successfully planted and are being uh, monitored to test their resilience and how they impact their new reef home. In this presentation, we are going to talk about Cerrado. First, let's get started with some basic facts. Cerrado is a region located in six states in eastern Brazil. There are many kinds of animals in the Cerrado. In particular, there are 856 kinds of birds. There are also over 200 kinds of mammals and 180 reptiles. The area of the Cerrado is five times bigger than Japan. The Cerrado is known as the largest savanna in South America. It consists of different types of savanna and forest. The Cerrado is also known as the source of water. Some of South America's important rivers, such as the Amazon, Parana Paraguay, and San Francisco began here. There are waterfalls such as the Rio Preto Falls, which are 120 meters high. The annual temperatures for the Corrado average between 22 and 27 Celsius, and average precipitation between 800 to 2,000 millimeter for over 90% of the area. This ecoregion has a very strong dry season during the southern winter. To April to September. Takarado is limited to two dominant seasons throughout the year, wet and dry. Second, we are going to explain about plants and animals. Nance is flowering plant bearing fruit in the Acerola family. It's small round, sweet yellow fruit which is strongly scented. It has pungent and distinct flavor and smell. These fruits are eaten raw or cooked as dessert or drink. The blue-eyed ground dove is only found in the Cerrado region. 
It has blue eyes and blue wing spots. It's listed as endangered. This bird was believed to be an extinct species because it hadn't been seen since 1941. However, 16 birds were rediscovered in 2016. This small mammal is adapted to the heat and dryness of its biome habitat. The kangaroo rat stays in its burrow during the heat of the day and is active at night or early morning. It has the same pace like kangaroo and big ears and same color. Third, we'd like to talk about the indigenous inhabitants. The Matopiba region of the Cerrado is home to a rich diversity of cultures and people. It is an active area for family farmers. And traditional forms of agriculture. It is also one of the poorest regions in the country. These are members of Tena people. The population is about 16,000. Their traditional language is Tena. They raise vegetables, fruits, chicken, cattle, and horses in the traditional way. Mostly, they are used for the Tena people rather than for sale. Many young Tena men are hired to work on farms and in sugar cane mills. The Tena are among the few native Brazilian population that have displayed population growth. In the 1840s, when they migrated into Brazilian territory, the Tena numbered around 3,000 at the end of the 1950s. There were around 3,800. Finally, we are going to talk about problems. The main threat to biodiversity in Cerrado is clearing of the land for pasture and crops like soybeans. Many of crops are for export, which is important for Brazil's economy. For the last 50 years, Cerrado has been the main area of farming. The deforestation level in Cerrado is currently higher than the Amazon. Scientists estimate that the Cerrado contains 138 billion tons of carbon and 5% of all the animals in the world. Deforestation will cause problems not just in the Cerrado but globally. If the forest of the Cerrado is gone, More carbon will be released into the environment and climate change will get worse. Unsustainable agricultural activities, particularly soy production and cattle ranching, as well as burning of vegetation for charcoal, continue to pose a major threat to the Cerrado biodiversity. Despite its environmental importance, it is one of the least protected regions in Brazil. The Atlantic Forest is a South American forest. It stretches from north to south in Brazil. It is located almost entirely in eastern Brazil, but also 6% of it is in eastern Paraguay and 2% of it is in north. Eastern Argentina. To compare Japan and the Atlantic Forest, the total area of Japan is about 377,000 square kilometers. On the other hand, the total area of the Atlantic Forest is 1.35 million square kilometers. The Atlantic Forest extends across the entire coastal plain, reaching the chain of mountain that accompanies the Brazilian coast. The area of the forest was originally about 500,000 square miles, but is not only 38,000 square miles now. The vegetation types and habitats vary by elevation differences. The Atlantic Forest occupies mountains as well as lowlands. In the south, Serra do Mar reaches elevations of 2,600 to 4,000 feet, and the Mantiqueira Mountains peaks are over 5,000 feet. This chain receives different names according to the region through which it passes. In the south side, for example, a piece of it is called Serra do Mar. 
The Atlantic Forest is characterized by a high diversity and animals and plants found now here else. The area has seasonally moist, dry hardwood tropical forest, tropical and subtropical meadows, savanna, shrub forest, and mangrove forest. The average temperatures are between 22 and 25. The forest receives between 700 to 1600 mm of precipitation per year. The golden lion tamari is a small new world monkey native to the Atlantic forest of Brazil. The golden lion tamari is an endangered species. It is typical around 261 mm and weighs around 620 grams. They are omnivorous and eat fruits, insects, shellfish, frogs, birds, eggs, and more. Males and females look the same and there is no particular difference. Canas are native to the warm areas of the Americans. There used to be perhaps 100 species of canna, but now there are approximately 20. Canna is called a lily, but it is not a lily. Its leaves are large and green, sometimes brown to maroon. The blossom color varies, but usually is in the red, orange, yellow range. In some species, the young shoots and leaves are a cook green, and in some species, the root stretch is edible. The plants have large leaves, so horticulturists have developed selected forms as large flowered garden plants. Canas are also used in agriculture. Hybrids are often multicolored. They were taken to warm areas of the Orient, then called the East Indies. From there, they went to Europe. The red billed grasso is an endangered species. These birds inhabit the Atlantic forest in southeastern Brazil. The characteristic of this bird is the male has a larger red bill, but this is lacking in the female. The name of this people is Guarani. There are so many Guarani people living in Brazil that they are said to be the three main groups of the Brazilian people. There are about 500 million people in the world. They speak Guarani, Spanish, and Portuguese. The traditional lunch of the Guarani people is Paraguay between the Uruguay River and Lower Paraguay River. Southern Brazil, once as far north as Rio de Janeiro, and part of Uruguay and Bolivia. Guaranis used to eat armadillo and deer meat, and they are friendly and cheerful. There is a lot of honest people among them. They believe that paradise exists in this world. They have similar i d e a like yin and yang. The Guarani draw black lines on their faces to prevent bad things from happening. Armadillo, yin and yang represent two of things. For example, the sun is yang. The moon is in. The front is young, the back is in. The land of the Guarani is getting smaller and smaller because of the expansion of sugar cane and soybeans fields, which are the main materials for biofuels. Deforestation treatment, the Atlantic forest. The main cause of deforestation are the commercial use of trees, agriculture, and cattle grazing. The wood was originally used for the production of chakora, but recently it has been used as a building material for houses. Deforestation causes the extinction of over 100 animal species daily in the world. If deforestation continues as up to now, 25% of the animals could be lost within the next 30 years. Deforestation can Causes the spread of new diseases to peoples. In a r e a of rapid deforestation, diseases that once only affected wildlife can start to spread among humans. The Brazil Conservation Team is an organization that is trying to restore the Atlantic forest. They try to reduce the amount of firewood used. Which is one cause of deforestation. They get money from the Brazilian government to protect forests and animals, as well as environmental education activities for local schools and promotion of visits 
to national park.